In today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys who actually play GTA 5 on the PC, how you guys can actually get your hands on the three different types of yachts and actually do some basic customization to them without having to spend about 8 to 9 million in GTA Online, but you can actually do this in single player. So, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, be sure to go and drop a like down below, as it really would help me out as always. Now let's go. So the way to do this is actually going to require you to download a mod. Now it's very simple to do, I will of course leave a link to it in the description down below. And actually by doing this, it's going to unlock the option to actually go down to a place just down by the marina in southern San Andreas. And you can actually go down there and buy one of these three yachts, change the model of it, you can change the name of it, the lights, the golden rails, and a few other bits once you're actually on it. But this mod works perfectly well, I haven't found any problems at all with it yet, and it even includes the ability to relocate it around the map. So once you buy this boat, as for the flat rate of 6 million in-game dollars, which is very easy to do because if you're using this already, you can just use a trainer to get extra money if you didn't already have 6 million, but once you're actually on this, you can actually spawn things like bodyguards and the helicopter, and even turn on the jacuzzi, depending on what model of the yacht you're on. All of the interiors work perfectly well, you can walk out the door from the from the actual bridge, you can walk out and for example I was on the pieces here and I actually had a chopper out the back and there's also one out the front. The jacuzzi works but sadly when you walk into it doesn't automatically take off your clothes and sit down, you're unable to do that but you can still go in there, the bubbles will still be created and will still be bubbling if you actually turn on the setting through the bridge. You can see that I spawned in some bodyguards all around this place which you don't actually get in online, you actually have to get other players to be your bodyguards, but you can actually spawn Merryweather people to do your defending for you. So I guess you could actually try to bring the cops over to your yacht, not that I tried it in the video, but I suppose you could probably bring the cops over to your yacht through helicopters and actually make the Merriweather personal security guys fight against them. But something else that I find really impressive about this mod is the fact that you can also relocate it here like you would if you actually talk to the captain in GTA Online. You can just go to the bridge, hit the manage yacht button, which for me was right on the d-pad, and then you can just select from the list of locations that you normally could, and you'll just teleport you and your yacht all across there. Now, you you don't have the same animation as you do in online, it kind of just teleports you, just fades to a black screen in your back, but it works perfectly well, there was no issues, your helicopters will stay there, you won't have to respawn any of that stuff, it just teleports perfectly. You can also customise the lights and the rails, whether they be the lights that line the entire thing or just the ones on the very edge of the boat, also just by down the anchors there. All of that same stuff can be changed. Now, you don't actually get any of the boats or the sea sharks kind of just kind of moored around the back of your boat. I'm afraid in this mod so far, in this version 0.2, they're currently not there, but I'm sure they'll be included in a future update. But something that I'd also like to mention is that this mod is made by Guadmaz on the GTA 5 mod site, and this guy has made some of the best mods in GTA 5 so far. He is the same guy responsible for things like the map editor used in nearly every GTA 5 config. Everybody uses the map editor to spawn in custom maps. He's recently made the multiplayer co-op for single player. He's of course made the super yacht. He's made Benny's Motorworks, the Grab Anything mod. He's made Prison Heist mods, the Mission Creator, Lowrider Challenges, Community Races, all of that stuff in single player. Some of the biggest mods in the game. Guadmaz has been the source of it. He is an amazing modder, so definitely go show him some support on the link down in the description below. So, if you guys did end up enjoying the video, be sure to go and drop a like while you're down there, as it really does help me out as always. There'll be a link to my Twitter in the description down below, where I post more daily GTA 5 real life and graphic design content. And finally, subscribe. We are about 15 subscribers away from 5,000. Can we hit it tonight or tomorrow as an early Christmas present? I'd be so excited and so grateful for that, guys. So, hit that red button to stay up to date with all of my new videos, and that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.